Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Come in, Agent Can. Have you made it to the base? That's great. Keep moving forward to defuse that bomb. The video you just watched is of Perel Aquarius Brown, better known as Dreamy D. Bull. In this video, he was thought to have exploded and died, but as we will see later on in this video, that was not the case. This video, along with many others, have uh, been caused for conspiracy among who this man is, what his capabilities are, and um, where he is now. But before we get into all of that, we need to start from the beginning, the very beginning. Perel Aquarius Brown was born to nurse Jeanette Brown and former Navy Admiral Samuel Jackson on January 28th of 1992. Perel was raised on a Kansas farm where he tended to cattle. Despite his humble beginnings, Perel Brown had big aspirations, earning him the nickname Dreamy. Throughout high school, Dreamy earned straight A's, achieving the title valedictorian. He famously gave his pseudo-mind speech at graduation. But however, if your energy, if your pseudo mind is not conducive or, yeah, I like the word, conducive to what I'm saying or what I'm feeling, then there's incompatibility. So how do you know that? How do you fix that? Well, first you have to understand, you have to look at yourself and say, what kind of energy or what kind of, what kind of pseudo power do I have to set my atmosphere? Ooh, that's good. His academic prowess, however, was accompanied by a wide array of sports achievements. Dreamy led his football team to win three different state championships. His coach always said he was strong as a bull, which is responsible for the latter half of his nickname. Following high school, Dreamy would skip college and opt for the Navy, following in his father's footsteps. Dreamy quickly caught the attention of several high-ranking officers, and he was transferred to the CIA. It was at this point he was given the codename Bautu Khan, which he would often shout out, after every successful mission. I'm about to come Bautu Khan was very successful, and on one mission, he met a woman named Amba Singh. He fell in love with Amba Singh, and decided to step away from the CIA to start a family with Amba. Amba gave birth to two healthy children. Dreamy's love for his wife was apparent. His acceptance speech for the Medal of Honor was a real testament to his deep admiration for Amba. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Let me be just what I need to bust. Let me just be what I need to bust. Cause I'm bussing. I'm bussing. I'm bussing. Soon after, Dreamy picked up a comfortable office job and decided to leave the CIA behind him. In a 2014 interview, Dreamy declared that he had no plans of returning to the CIA because it was too mentally tasking, and even admitted to some conflict between himself and other operatives. He specifically pointed to a man named Brandon Currington. Furthermore, Dreamy had countless close encounters with death. Oh my god, I'm about to come. Amba Singh recalls that her beloved Dreamy would wake up in the middle of the night screaming. What Dreamy had witnessed on the job was too much for him to handle. Dreamy could not fathom some of the things he had uh, done. Regardless, the CIA continuously reached out to him, thanking him to rejoin for one final mission. Prell made it clear that his life as Bautu Khan was over, but this did not deter the CIA. After much convincing, Dreamy decided to finish off his duty with one final mission. At this point, Things would take a turn for the worst. On July 29th of 2019, Dreamy was defusing a bomb when he allegedly exploded and died. Dreamy Bull had defused countless bombs before this, which caused much skepticism around his passing. These were nothing more than baseless conspiracy theories until recently. Only a few months ago, 
A Zoom meeting was held for people who have recently lost a loved one. Jimmy's wife, Amba Singh, was in the Zoom call when a man joined and abruptly shouted out, I'm Bao Tu Khan, followed by screaming before he ultimately disconnected. Now, I will now play this video for you guys, but I must warn you that viewer discretion is advised. What the hell is that? Oh, I'm the me. Oh. All right, we, ha we have a pooper. What is this? We have a, we have going on here. The recording has stopped. It is believed that this man was Perel Brown. Many theorized that Dreamy was being tortured by foreign enemies. Others claim that he was held by the CIA, possibly because he had plans of exposing something that we don't know. Dreamy was always vocal about his criticism of the CIA, especially Officer Currington, who is believed by many to be involved with Dreamy's disappearance. It is very possible that he was planning on exposing them. New theories on the disappearance of Dreamy Bull are constantly coming out. Everybody knows now that the Democrats did that bout to come. And I'm here to tell you. 1776 will commence again if you try to take I'm about to come up. A Redditor said that Dreamy Bull is in Cuba with Tupac and Biggie. Now, the far left mob is claiming that our own government killed Dreamy Bull, and they're using it as an excuse to take away our penis enlargement polls. This story is more wild than Elon Musk being booed at a Dave Chappelle concert. Hearing about Bout Tukum made me want to bleach my eyes and destroy my asshole. This story is absolutely sick. Some of the more outlandish theories even uh, consider that Dreamy Bull actually turned into a bus. Oh, God, you make me bad! You make me bad! New footage, however, has since been released seemingly portraying our beloved Dreamy Bull being shot and killed. Dreamy's eldest son actually recorded a, a video of himself reacting to the information. It's very heartbreaking, and I uh, would like you guys to take a look. And before we uh, show this video, however, keep in mind that there is still skepticism that even this is the end of our beloved Dreamy. We hope he's still out there. Now we will play that clip for you now. This incident, for now at least, remains a mystery, and it is unlikely that we will ever know for certain what happened to our beloved Dreamy Bull. We can only hope that one day Dreamy can return to his family. So what can we do from here? Well, from here we can only wait. If you'd like to donate, I put a link to the Dreamy Foundation in my bio. And uh, also, along with that, is all of the sources that I've used for this video. This took a lot of work, and I would like to ask you to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'd also like to tell you to tell your friends that this is some good shit. Lastly, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my dear friend, Mr. Jays Jays. Shout out to you, Mr. Jays Jays, for being the GOAT. Oh, my God.